the farmers also face a number of production challenges. This is especially because the farming practices in the region are still traditional. With the support of donors, the cooperative has been able to provide training to farmers on modern practices that will enable them conserve feeds for the dry season. This way, production levels will be stabilized and that will mean more unsteady income for the cooperative throughout the year. They are faced with a lot of problems and so when they have problems, it means that those problems by extension will also affect us. If they cannot produce enough, then we cannot get enough here. The, the issue of feed, feeding the animals. You know, the tri spell, they don't have enough to feed the animals, and therefore you cannot get enough milk. Like right now, we are collecting an average of about 700 liters of milk. Remember, at peak period, we do almost 3,000. 2,500 to 3,000 liters per day. Now we are doing about 700 because the farmers cannot feed their animals properly. And our farmers do not, they have not embraced the issue of, of uh, keeping, preserving fodder, feedstuffs for their animals. Most of them will just graze along the roads and wait and then in the end, I mean the milk and that one of course not productive. But now with the support of uh, GIZ and other donors, we have VI Agroforestry. They are capacity building, they are training farmers on how they can produce fodder, they can produce hay and conserve these feeds for the dry spell. The farmers also deal with pests and diseases which affect the milk supply. Thankfully, the government has offered support in helping farmers deal with some pests and diseases. The cooperative has also stepped in to support farmers in improving the breeds by providing AI services at a cost. This is a long-term plan that will ensure farmers have better yielding breeds. Sometimes we have disease outbreaks. But again, with the government and uh, the support of other donors, I think they are able to at least control some of these tick-borne diseases, tick diseases think, through vaccinations, isn't it? The vaccines we have. That is another challenge which faces the farm. So if the farmer's animal falls sick, then it means that Nadafa will not get the amount of milk that is required. Because if you want good quality of milk in large quantities, then you must be ready to go in for the high yielding animals. Most of our farmers don't have that. But at least with Nadafa, that is one of the services we offer to farmers, the AI services. So we have the AI, we have a vet, a veterinary doctor here who moves around to inseminate the animals at a cost. So we believe with that, we should be upgrading these animals, but it is a slow process. It takes quite a bit of time. Lack of control in the dairy market is another threat to the cooperative. Hawkers operate freely with no quality checks on the milk they sell. If implemented, the bill presented by the dairy board will go a long way in protecting cooperatives like Naitiri. The market is not controlled. It is like the market, the dairy, industry has been let loose. But you have seen of late, I think the government tried to come in with some bills. I think they came out with some regulations, the dairy board, but they are not through. But right now, it is free for all. It's not controlled. So if that is not controlled, then we are adversely affected. Because people are taking the milk, competing with you, giving you unfair competition. Besides competition in the market, Expansion has also been difficult as pasteurizing machines are very expensive. The cooperative has already laid plans to have the equipment in place with support of donors. Some of the equipment have already been bought. You know, the infrastructure, the equipment you require for dairy processing are very expensive. But we are happy with the support of donors. In fact, this, what you see there, the milk dispensers, so the two of them were actually given 
by the donors. We are also receiving another cooler of about uh, 5,000 liters. There are 5,000 liters, size of that one. On top of the cooler, we are also getting a pasteurizer. Right now, we cannot pasteurize our milk, but once we get a pasteurizer, and then we can start processing the milk. Starting and managing a dairy cooperative means you take control of your milk produce from beginning to end. In spite of the numerous challenges dairy farmers experience, in running a chilling plant like Naitiri, there are numerous benefits for individual farmers. Farmers are able to save and make a living from selling their milk as the cooperative accepts milk as little as one liter. These has seen some farmers take their kids to school and over time, the cooperative has achieved its objective of elevating poverty. In terms of um, whether it has really the cooperative has achieved its objective, poverty alleviation. We can see this because when the it's a kind of saving. You bring your milk here today, tomorrow, and at the end of the month, what you get, most of these farmers use that for paying fees and that kind of thing. So instead of having their kids at home, you find most of them have their kids in school up to university level. One says, I want to pay fees. So farmers have actually benefited here. Once they are paid the money, they use this money for either buying other foodstuffs, continue, I mean, carrying out other economic activities and also paying fees. The cooperative offers support to farmers which includes training on milk handling. They are also able to buy feeds on credit from the agrovet and benefit from the AI services offered by the cooperative. The society plans to give in advance loans and credit services to farmers in future. Farmers are trained on how to manage their animals, even the hygiene. Because, you see, the, the farmers also stand at risk. If they don't milk in the proper way, they don't handle milk properly on, on the farm, they stand the risk of having that milk being rejected here. See that? So farmers are trained on how to handle the milk, milk handling on the farm. That is important, and that ensures that their milk, when it comes here, it is accepted. Now, in terms of support services which are given to the farmers to make sure that they produce or increase their productivity, one is we have the agrovet, where farmers are given the animal feeds and other dairy inputs on credit at the end of the month that uh, whatever they have taken is, is gotten back to the society. That's one. Yeah, so we have a check-off system of the agrovet, and we have it there, although at this time maybe it's not well stopped because of the season itself is quite low. The other service I mentioned to, inc to increase productivity is artificial insemination, which is also given to our farmers on credit. And this is given to farmers who are active, active in the sense they bring their milk, because we cannot just give to any farmer. Any other farmer can pay for that service. We don't discriminate. According to Mr. Wesley Miner, the cooperative's manager, they are able to make profit margins when selling to locals as compared to when distributing to processors. The representation that is, uh, you can see right now is the same representation to, to all the rest of the collection points where we also collect milk and uh, at the same time we sell it to our customers because Nigeria has got um, uh, maybe uh, uh, one uh, market which is the local that is the one we that we expect much of the margins uh, because we take it at 35 from the farmers but uh, once it is here and we are we think of taking it to other markets that is along uh, uh, Kamukuya, Ebuye, Bungoma, and maybe Chwele. And later on, we take it to, to the processors, that is Daima. In comparison, we sell locally at 45 shillings, and at times at 50 shillings. And comp in comparison, with the three areas where we sell, 
I think locally we have got a higher uh, margin. The cooperative offers flexible modes of payment. This ensures that all farmers can get their payments efficiently. Now the mode of payment, there are those who are paid through the banks. We have also MPESA platform which is used and there are those a few who are paid cash. Other than the direct benefits to dairy farmers, the cooperatives have also created employment to several youths from the area who take care of the day-to-day -day operations of the society, which include receiving milk from farmers and distribution. As apart from having those direct benefits to the people who bring the milk here, it has also created employment, job opportunities for the youth. So if when you are here tomorrow, you will see who brings in the milk, they are the same youth. Who takes the milk to the market, they are this youth. So it has created employment. So instead of someone just sitting there, you have something to do. If you can transport the milk from the collecting centers, if you can take it to the market, at the end of the day, they are paid something. They have something to take home. As a small or a large-scale farmer, Joining cooperative in your area will ensure that all your milk has a market and you also benefit from insights shared. We hope you've learned more on dairy cooperatives today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned to KTN Farmers TV.